All right, so today I'm going to be making a uh, PVC version of the Python hooks to refill my tank. Uh, my 300 gallon, I normally do water changes with the canopy on. And I think the canopy is an 8 inch canopy or so, and I usually don't take it off. So I figured I'm going to make my own um, a little bit longer because the Python hooks just aren't long enough and I don't want to make any mess. So it should be pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to do some measurements, then we'll get right to it. I know those pythons online run about $25 to $30, so I'm actually going to make a couple of them, but I'm going to focus on this video on just making the one for my big tank. But i um, got a 10-foot piece of PVC cut it in half, um, then i got a couple T's to diffuse the water, a cap, and then a little hose adapter that I'll be gluing on the end of uh, one of the pieces. So I'm going to use the uh, hot sand method to bend the tubing. That way they don't get any kinks or anything like that. So we'll get into it a little bit later. All right, the measurements aren't gonna be an exact science. I'm just gonna estimate here, but uh, let's see. I probably want it about that far in the tank. So let's see, have the angle, eh. That's about 30 inches. I want a little loop at the top, so I'll probably cut the PVC probably about 32 to 34 inches and that should uh, give us what we need all right so I'm gonna actually measure this out to 36 inches and get a little bit extra just in case you can always trim after if needed so let's see here Next step, I'm going to measure out the sand. I think most people in this hobby probably have aquarium sand. So that's all I'm going to use, my spare sand. And I'm going to fill it up so I'll know how much I'm going to need to warm up. Oh, I'm not taking much at all. I'll leave a little space, maybe about an inch or so left at the top. All right, I just heated up the sand. It got way too hot though. It's at about 520 degrees. I'm gonna let that get down to maybe a little under 400. Yeah, it's way too hot. It's gonna melt right through that PVC. I'll drop the temp a little bit, then we'll load up the tube and then we'll get to bending it. Also, I did one attempt earlier. My last funnel melted and I didn't trust any melted plastic in the tubing. So I just made a little one out of aluminum foil. That way I know this will not melt and that we should be all right. All right, we're about 400 degrees now, more or less. Let's uh, try to dump this in here. I'm wearing welding gloves. This stuff is very, very hot, so be very careful. I'd be getting close. Yep, perfect. Empty out this excess. All right, we're gonna let that heat up the pipe. I'm actually gonna tape this other end here. And it is getting pretty hot pretty quick. I'll throw this over top of this. All right, we'll let it heat up a little bit then we'll uh, start bending. It's kind of unfortunate because my last pipe had bent about perfect, but uh, let's see if we can match it up here. All right.
is pretty close. Not too bad. Well, not as pretty as the other one, but I think we're gonna make it work. Let it cool off now. All right, been about five minutes. Still a little warm, but let me go empty the sand out. Now, it actually came out pretty decent, and it doesn't have any sand stuck inside like the other one, or smell like that nasty burned plastic. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go inside, wash this really good with dish soap inside and out and obviously rinse it extremely well, then we'll give it a test fit in the tank. All right, we're gonna give this a little test fit in the tank here. It doesn't smell like plastic at all. So here it goes. Perfect. All right, now we can install our ends and this thing will be done. All right, sorry about the mess. Working on some bikes at the moment. So I just got a regular slip uh, elbow. I'm going to stick it on this end. I'm not going to glue this side because if I want to take it off, I can. doesn't matter if it's watertight. I am going to glue the three-quarter inch slip-on to mail hose adapter. Um, I don't know. It's pretty straightforward. No one's ever glued PVC before, but I literally just prime it and glue it. So get a little primer. Oh, let me shake that up. A little primer on there. Put a little primer on the inside. Like I say, you don't need to overthink it. So let that dry up for a second. Then we will glue the ends on. It should be good to go. All right. Looks like it's already drying up. You don't need a lot of glue. Just gonna put a little bit on the pipe and a little bit on the fitting. Should be good to go. Oop, so much for a little bit and just a little in there. Slip it on. And that will never come off. All right, and that is done. We'll just put the end on like that, and it's complete. We'll try it out probably this weekend, but really nothing to it. This cost about two fifty, two bucks, about seven, eight dollars total for this piece, and you can make uh, two or three of them out of a ten-foot piece, no problem. So, anyways, hope it helps someone out there.